welcome back to the channel folks right maxine trailer has just been released we're going to get on this straight away big anticipated one for me this year um we've had no sort of trailer footage so far we haven't seen much from this movie just a couple of behind the scenes sort of photos of mia goth um set in la a couple of years after the events of x obviously we had x and pearl that came out a couple of years ago from ty west awesome little movies um pearl especially i thought was just amazing the technicolor vibe of that film and the score and stuff it was just it was so different from x but also like had that undercurrent vibe of yeah this is made by the same people um obviously had a returning character as well but i won't spoil any of that if you haven't seen them films highly recommend them but um let's not mess about folks let's have a look at this new trailer from ty west if i can get the bloody trailer out let's go okay a24 so Big maxine your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment set. Yeah. We want to be a porn star, baby. Maybe just not, but you know. That the Chinese theater. If you need to read off the size we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. It's my local lot. Not really. She the camera and through her trauma addresses the lens directly. All right. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and X. Already love the vibe of this. I don't like walking up here with a freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker is terrorizing Los Angeles. Hmm. I can handle myself. We'll set up a better girl in Hollywood. It's got that giallo sort of feel to it as well. I had to detect the vibe to find you. I think they said that's what inspired this one. My employer's a very powerful man. I had no idea Kevin Pakin was in this one. It's gonna keep knocking at your door. Yeah, this this looks great, man. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? Great color. You feel confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining moment of your career. Why is this going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I'm telling you to. What a trailer, by the way. Maxine! 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 Maxine. You're a fucking movie star. All right. Coming soon. So we still don't have a release date for this film, which I find quite interesting. Um, I'm sure we'll get one pretty soon. So, yeah, folks, I had no idea that Kevin Bacon was in this film, for one. Uh, and Elizabeth Debicki, is it? Um, she was in Tennis. Um, she played Princess Diana as well, I think. This looks awesome, man. I love the LA feel of it. It feels like they're utilizing LA to its full potential. Um, and guys, people in the comments, let me know. The Night Stalker, is this based on a real serial killer from, is it the 80s this film is set in? I'm sure I've just watched a Netflix documentary on the Night Stalker. I might be totally wrong there, but it, it's sort of ringing a bell. Anyway, if they're dealing with a real-life serial killer in this film, what a great sort of thing to add to this that I had no idea that they were going to do, like to depict it as a real-life sort of event. It sort of reminds me of what Quentin was doing in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with the Manson murders. Maybe he's not the main focal point, but that is something that's happening in the background. Sort of reminds me of that a little bit in this film. But yeah, Ty West, Mia Goff. You know, Mia Goff, I think she's been put on quite a high pedestal now. And, you know, she's got the work there to back it up. I think she's awesome. Infinity Pool was one of my favourite films of last year. And her chaotic 
performance in that film was a big part of it, guys. But yeah, this looks awesome. Trailer, vibing, music, awesome. I love the colour in there, everything. Yeah, I'll be there day one for this one, folks. 100%. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen X and Pearl, what are you doing? Get on that one. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on Thursday night at 8pm. Bye-bye.